the marathon is certainly very sweet and I'd love to know how you interpret this if you watch this. If you're a Disney fan, a Mickey Mouse fan, you absolutely need to see it. This is a 1988 short directed by Alexander Petrov and Mikhail Tumelia. I apologise if I've mispronounced any of those names. Um, this was given as a gift to Roy Disney um, to, to mark the 60th anniversary or 60th birthday uh, of Mickey Mouse. And it starts off with a very young boy of maybe around three or four years old um, looking in a mirror. And I say a mirror, it's actually just a black line dividing the screen, but it's actually effectively done. And the little reflection, the little boy in the reflection, transforms into Mickey Mouse. And they begin mirroring each other's moves. And as this happens, this boy grows and he develops into a, a, an older boy and then a young man and then a middle-aged man. And ultimately he becomes this older man, this 60-year-old man. And I won't say exactly what happens after that, but it's suggesting that Mickey Mouse will live on forever, passed on to generation after generation, which of course is definitely the case. And it's very sweet, very moving, and would have been such a lovely gift to mark Mickey's birthday. The animation quality is not the best ever. Um, there are certainly much better animated films at this point in the 80s, but the sentiment is there and it's very short, but impacts quite well. Um, it's got a lot going for it. And as I said, it might be open to interpretation. I'd love to know what you think the little boy represents. The little boy can't represent Walt Disney, even though Mickey is kind of a reflection of Walt Disney in terms of what Disney stands for. Um, but he can't represent Walt Disney because the timeline doesn't make any sense. So does it represent Mickey? Well, not really, because it would suggest that Mickey's getting older and is not as able, as is reflected in the... Um, reduced abilities of the older man so I'm kind of not sure what I think the young boy represents I mean you can just say on the surface it represents a fan of Mickey Mouse who spends time growing up with Mickey Mouse and passes it on to the next generation I think that's perfectly fine but I'm not sure if they intended it to be something else so I'd be really keen to know what you think of it but that's I think that's my broad interpretation that the young boy somebody who has just discovered Mickey Mouse um, the fact that it's a reflection of him to begin with makes me think they were trying to do something a bit deeper than that. But I'm not reading it. I'm not, you know, that's not what I read into it. But I enjoyed it regardless. It's very sweet. It's very moving. If you haven't seen it, I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it. It is um, quite moving. It's the kind of thing I'd love to see redone with today's technology. Because I think, obviously, if you make the images a bit more clear you know some of the time um for example when it was raining it felt a little bit too cluttered and the animation wasn't that good so there are bits of it that i think could have been done a bit differently um or even just left out the rain was a nice touch but it kind of washed away the main image ironically so i'd like to see it kind of remade with sharper technology just to see what it looks like and see how emotional it is but it definitely is moving very sentimental um, if you're a fan of Disney or Mickey Mouse, uh, the marathon is definitely worth watching.